Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you the basics of DaVinci Resolve 14.2. I think that's the most recent version, I just updated it today. So yeah, um, Merry Christmas. Um, Synthetic Tech, my YouTube partner I guess you could say, um, recently built a new PC, he can now run DaVinci Resolve. So to save myself the time from having to teach him everything and generally getting annoyed with him when I have to teach him everything, I'm going to make him a video. Yeah, so once you install DaVinci Resolve, launch it, obviously. Um, it may take a little while, it kind of depends on your computer. Um, it does take a while when you're recording, converting a podcast into MP3, and all that other good stuff. Here it's loaded up. Um, so click New Project to name your project right from the start. Otherwise, you can just go into Untitled Project and then click Control s on your keyboard to save it, and then it will ask you for a name. Um, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go into Untitled Project. Um, so, here you can see that there's all these windows. <laughs> um, it's not very complicated. First off, we're going to press Control s give it a name. I don't know what should we call it. Video Base Basics. So, oh, we'll see, there it is. So now we have our DaVinci Resolve project editor window thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. So, first off, we have our editing tab. Um, it's where you perform all your edits, put all your content and all that stuff. But we're going to start out with our media tab. Our media tab is where we can mess around with media pools. You can also do this all on the editing tab, but the media tab gives you a bit more. Um, we're just going to go find a video really quick. Um, it's a fairly big video. Let's just do this one. Jesus. How, is that how long I spent editing this video? Jesus. I don't even remember doing that. Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Okay, well... So now we can see that I've put it in the folder there. Um, I meant to drag it down here. So now we have it all imported into DaVinci Resolve. Honestly, it's the same thing either way. Um, then you can see you have your media player here. Oh my god, I looked stupid. Um, and you can see you can kind of scrub through it if you move your mouse over these. Yeah, my voice was a lot higher pitched at the time. Um, it's also over here, you just double click on it, brings it up. Uh, you can also do... Yep, my voice is really high-pitched there. <laughs> um, so then, well, you can head over to your Edit tab, which is, once again, where you make all your edits. Let's go to the Effects Library, because that's how it starts out. So, here's this. And then if you go to Color, this is, you, can, you can do Color Grading, um, Tracking, well, Tracking. Um, I'll get into this later. Cause, well, actually, I have tutorials on this. Um, I have one for blurring planned. It's not edited, recorded, anything yet. Um, this is where you would do your blurring and stuff. It's what I use for blurring. I'm not sure if it's the proper way. Um, yeah, here's your sizing if you need to pan a video. It's simple. Here's your fair light. Um, let's just drag a clip in, any clip. Oh, Jesus. I'm zoomed out because I had to put a... This is a short thing. Let's do an actual video. Here we go. This one, this one shall do. It's still not a very long one. It's only two seconds, whatever. It'll get a point across. Okay, so here you can see we have Fairlight. Now this is where you'll do all your sound like editing, like your waveform editing, your EQ stuff. You can see if we zoom in all the way, we can individually change each little wave. We'll see. So if we zoom out, wrong one. If we zoom out we can like go over. You you do hear that it is playing it in real time. It's quite cool. Um, so now if we like zoom in all the way, we could like drag this thing up like crazy make it super pronounced Jesus it's gonna sound really weird but 
Here are five wises. Wises. Good job, me. Um, and then your deliver tab is where you would render out the video, change all your render settings, um, output it to whatever you need. Generally, you're gonna just use YouTube. And yeah. Well, in my case, I use YouTube. So, on the edit tab, um, let's just go find a longer video somewhere. I've been doing YouTube for too long. So I have plenty of videos. I think that should, that's going to show up at the bottom, of course. So, um, to close this thing, I just bring up Inspector. Then okay, yeah, I just bring up the Inspector, because then, you know, this isn't distracting me. And then, when you click on your video, you can inspect it, zoom stuff in. Um, let's just set that back to default. Um, so, what I recommend doing, DaVinci Resolve is generally really stable, but can occasionally get a bit laggy and crash or something else. So I'd recommend saving your project whilst you're editing it. Um, it's just control S as I mentioned before, and yeah. <laughs> so, um, if you're coming from Windows Movie Maker like I did, and my friend did, um, you're gonna be a little hesitant to figure this out. Well, it took me ages, and eventually I just looked it up. Um, in Windows Movie Maker you just right clicked on the thing, and it, there was a thing that said cut. Well. I don't know what it said. I haven't used Movie Maker in ages. But now what you're going to have to do, we're going to zoom out just a bit more. Um, you're going to click Razor Tool or press B on your keyboard. Um, A brings you back to the cursor. So B, then you click where you want it to cut. And then, yeah, it's pretty simple. And then, to delete the video, you just click Ripple Delete or Delete, and then Ripple Delete slides the track back to the next clip, which in this case is just the beginning. But you'll see if we do it like here, we click delete, it won't do anything like that. And if we click ripple delete, it will. Um, I brought that clip back by pressing control Z, which is just undo, it's a shortcut on Windows. So if you're in a text editor like Notepad, hi, there, and you want to delete there, you can press control Z and it brings it back. So. Yeah, it's the case with most, most programs. Now we're just going to save it again since we made a few edits. <laughs> this this will save you hours upon hours of your life, okay? I'm, I'm bringing you this from personal experience. When I was editing videos, um, it's actually one of the most painful videos to edit I ever had, or I've ever done. I don't know where it is on here. Um, I don't know where it is. But I spent a good seven hours editing it, um, and that's because one time it was about I was about two hours in. DaVinci Resolve crashed. I hadn't saved my work. I lost all my work, and then I had to restart. That was painful. It had, yeah, it's painful, <laughs> and it's not very fun to deal with. And you basically don't want to ever do YouTube again. And yeah, save yourself that rage. Um. So yeah, that's the basics of that. Now, say you want to add text, like, you know, I've done a tutorial on this, like, let's just say you want to say, like, correct yourself. Um, so, click Effects Library, and it will start up up here, I think. Then you just head down to Titles, and then there's a thing that says Text. And then, yeah, there's that. Then you click on it, make sure you're in the inspector up here, because I think it does start like this. You just have to double click on it or just click on it and then go to the inspector. Then in your in your title zone thing, just say whatever. Test test or boring stuff. Press enter and don't worry, it is working. It just won't show up properly. Um then you might want to move it. Um there's two ways to do that. You can move your X and Y positions. X is the like this position and Y is up and down. Horizontal, there you go. <laughs> I was not thinking of the word. Change your color. Um, where is this? Color is right here. Uh, you have a color. It's not a wheel. Square. Um, you know, do whatever you want with that. Otherwise, there are basic colors over here. 
Generally, you just want to use white or black, but it's up to you. And then you can change your size like this, or you can go over here for more precise size changes. Oop, that's a bit too much. Or you can always head over to this button here and make sure it's on transform. You can move it around like this and then, you know, adjust it. All that other stuff. I'm just going to delete that. Um, I, you don't need to control Z. You can click delete selected, then you're done. Um, I think there were a few photos in here. If I remember correctly. Okay, there's one. We have one photo. We're going to drag that into video two. Um, and then, here's your photo. So, to lengthen a photo, you're going to have to zoom in most of the time. And you just... Okay, it's not going to let me, is it? Is it a video? Because if it is, that won't work. Which it is. No, it isn't. Okay, it's not letting me lengthen it. So, with most photos it will. Trust me there. It's only two frames for some reason. No, it is like a GIF or something. I don't know why it's done that. Let's just go grab a random photo. Um, pictures. Um, GoPro edits. I don't, I don't want to do those ones. I don't like those ones. Okay. We'll just sit get one of my screenshots <laughs> that I've taken. Let's mute that. <laughs> to mute stuff, you just click mute. Um, yeah. Or the M. <laughs> and that is only for audio tracks. That's different. It actually changes the color now. I like that. Well, it changes the background, not the foreground. That's cool. So if you need to crop a vit or picture like I need to here, click on your picture, um, click here, go down to crop. Then up here, you just drag these things to the part that you don't need, and then you are good. Then, if you do that, it will freak out. But set up to the transform, then, boom, you can move it around, make it bigger, do whatever you need, and yeah. So, those are really all the basics you need to know for the editing tab. And then for the deliver tab, um, we're just gonna, I'm gonna show you YouTube. Um, it should be the same with Vimeo, all this other stuff. But we're just gonna do YouTube here. Make sure all your clips are the way that you want them. Then, to change your file name, you don't click up here or highlight it or anything. You go to File, and then where it says Custom Name, give it whatever you want. Basics, boom, done. And then up here, you can know if this is all good. But if you want to change your resolution, click this drop down arrow, do 1080p and 2160p or 720p, I don't care. Um, if those aren't what you want, you can scroll down here and change it manually. Um, frame rates are generally linked to what your timeline is set to, so you don't need to mess with that. Yeah, so select your location. Um, I'm just going to do December, click OK. Um, add to render queue and then click start render and that's it. You're done. You successfully edited your first video using DaVinci Resolve. I hope you don't hate it. Amazing. Um, don't go back to Windows Movie Maker. There's no place for it in 2017, almost 2018. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If it helped you, feel free to leave a thumbs up. It's appreciated. Comment below if you have any suggestions for other videos or feedback or anything. Otherwise, we have a form in our description that you can fill out. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.